Good morning. So happy Tuesday. So today I'm just checking in with you, seeing how things are going. We are at January 17th, 2023. And so, you know, we're halfway through January. So I'm checking in. How are those New Year's resolutions going? Are they still fresh and new and exciting? Have they started to taper off a little bit? So let's talk about if you made any New Year's resolutions, checking in, seeing how you're doing. The tips that I'm going to give you today will be helpful if they have dropped off or if, you know, they're still trucking along, but, you know, that motivation piece might need to still be there. Also great tips for if you decide if you're like me and you don't have New Year's resolutions, but you do make resolutions for yourself throughout the year. So these are also some tips on how to stay motivated when you are trying to make change for yourself. So the first thing to do is go all the way back to the beginning. Why the heck did you want to do this in the first place? Really, really, really looking at what is the inspiration? Why did you want to put this resolution in place in the first place and get real about it? Get specific, not, oh, because I want to be healthier. I want to live a long time. No, no, no. Get real, real specific. Why? Why do you want this for yourself? Why do you want to be successful? The second thing to look at is how will your life be different after you're successful? So after you establish this new habit or you make this new change or you reach this new goal or whatever this resolution is for you, how will your life be different? Look at after the fact, looking backwards, how is your life going to be different? Again, looking at those motivations. What does that mean? What will it mean to have a healthy life? What will it mean to be making more money? How, what will it mean to establish this new healthy habit? How will your life be different once you're successful? And then the key is to remember these things in those times of lulls, those times of questioning yourself, procrastination, you know, looking for reasons to not follow through keep these lists handy the longer the time goes the the eh, they might be creeping in and they might be a little bit sneaky these excuses that we use when we are either perfectionists or procrastinators or oftentimes those things go hand in hand so making sure that you have these motivational tools why did i begin doing this in the first place how will my life be different after i'm successful these are also great tips on um, when you are making new goals and resolutions to take these into consideration right from the beginning so that you can continue to push yourself forward with your own inspiration without the need for external validation, without the need for someone else to push you. This is how you push yourself to get that lovely life that you desire. Let me know how it's going. Let me know how your resolutions are going. And I will, you'll see me <laughs> next week if you look.